so I just got the order in for all of the Once Upon an Animation pins so I thought I would do a little unboxing and show you all all the pins and how they come in and stuff I'm so excited to see them, oh my god Okay, this is Jenna Right, I'm just gonna like lay them out all on my bed <laughs> That's also Jenna. I think I ordered 200, 150 of her. I've got Cats Don't Dance. I think I got 150 of them as well. Who's this? This is Alu. Oh, she looks so cute. Right, Alu. And that's also Alu. I ordered quite a lot of pins because. I just kind of got the feeling that I was going to run out of them very quickly, so rain. Um, some pins I did order, you know, a lot more than others. Um, some pins I only ordered 50 and then some I ordered 200. So they go kind of in between 50, 100, 150 and 200. Okay, so I thought that box was way too small. Um, turns out there's three different boxes, um, so that was the first box. Hopefully the other boxes come today, but it might be tomorrow, so I'll just start packing these ones up. I can show you these ones now, and then I'll update when I have all the other ones. Um, so we've got some of the most popular ones right here right now anyway. We've got Rain, I really like her. We have Jenna, love her. Young Spirit. So, Big Spirit must be in another box because I did order 200 of him. Because, you know, Balto and Spirit were like the two main pins, so I wanted to order lots of them. Um, I'm not loving the colour, it's not as like gold as I would have liked, but I don't want to delay this any longer and like have them sent back and making new ones. So, um, when I reorder these, I'll just get the colour changed slightly, I think. These ones are the first black enamel pins I've like ever done and I thought it really suited um, Giacomo because he has like you know the black bit on his neck and stuff and the black gloves I really like him like his colouring is like super super nice now this one is one of my favourites Cats Don't Dance and I got her dress in glitter I sort of used the um Remember the bit in the movie where he goes to the old elephant's house and you see a picture of her and she's dancing like that? She's in a different dress. I sort of changed it to match the dress that she dances in at the end, so it's blue. But I really liked the sort of pose that she was in, so I kind of used that as reference. And then I added the sheet music behind because it just looked kind of empty and I was like, this needs a background. This is the other black enamel pin. This is Edmund from Rockadoodle and Banjo from Banjo the Woodpile Cat which is quite a small, like, not very well known short film. I don't know what, if it was like at the start, I don't think it was like before a movie or anything like that. It was just like a little, like 20 minute animated short that Don Bluth done. But it was really cute. It was like about a little cat that always got in trouble, so he ran away, but then he realized that, you know, he couldn't fend for himself, so he wanted to go back home again. One of those simple little stories. So I drew both of them together because they're two smaller characters, so I'd thought just combine them into one pin. This one, I had no idea how she was going to turn out because the background was it's different to all the other ones. Like, it's more of a kind of brooch style. And I did have glitter added into the, the amulet. You can see it a little bit. I really like that one. It very much fits the style of the movie. And this one, the most popular pin, this is the one that I think 160 people picked it. So I think I ordered 250 of these. Wow, I love these colours. And it's a rose gold one of the the gang. I did kind of use the, the bit at the end of the movie, like at the very end when they're all cuddling together. That was like the reference for this. But obviously I had to change it because Ducky and Petrie were kind of too far away. You know, they have to all connect to each other to be an enamel pin, so... I edited it a little bit. And a loo. I just love her. She's just a simple little pin. She was pretty cheap as well because she's only three colours. So I just loved her. And I loved Bottle too as a kid. So this one is Tony and Bridget from the An American Tale. 
I was just a bit of dust there. I love these two characters, they were so cute. So I thought I would do that instead of 5 since I do have, you know, another pin that's 5 So yeah, I thought I would do them. And this one, I don't actually have the pins for these, but there was this one random one, so I suppose I can show you guys this one. The Unicorn Sea, this was another really popular one. This is one of the only silver enamel pins. I don't really make a lot of them, but it works for the unicorns and it's got the glitter on it as well. So yeah, these are all the pins I have so far. Um, I will update you guys once the next ones come in. But for now, I'm going to put some of these on backing cards and see how they look. So guys, I just got the next box in. This is two days later, so it's a bit annoying it didn't come yesterday. But we have them now. I'm so excited. Oh, right. What ones have we got? We've got uh, Once Upon a Forest. I only ordered 50 of those ones. Charlie and Whippet Angel, which was one of my favourite designs of like the entire thing. These are the exclusive pin that I did for the Kickstarter. So you get this if you ordered four or more pins. And there's a few extra, so whoever ordered like a lot of pins, if you ordered like more than 10, then you might get a second one as well, just because they're exclusive, so I can't, you know, sell them otherwise. So I'll just give a few extras out of whatever extras I have left. Uh, Batty and Bartok. That's another Batty and Bartok. I think I ordered a hundred of them. I've got more land before time. Because I ordered a lot of those ones. They were the most popular. I've got all. Uh, this is Mrs. Brisby and Fievel. Same five -o is really weird now because of this little one. Yes. Hello, baby. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. Go and get your dinner. What else have we got? We've got Spirit, the Road to El Dorado, um, oh, Angel Charlie, the other Old Dogs Go to Heaven one. This one was actually more popular than the other one, which I'm really shocked by because the other one is like my favourite. I've got three bags of him. There we are. Um, more of the little thank you pins. Where did I put them? They're up there. And the rest is all spirit. So this is all the pins that I got for now. Alright, I've got all of these on their backing cards now and I'll show you guys what they all look like. Um, we've got Batty and Bartok, which they look great. This one is like my favourite pin that I designed. I'm not sure Cats Don't Dance kind of beat it at the end, but this was of the original designs that I'd done, like this was my favourite one. And it's got the glitter on the clouds as well. Got Angel Charlie. Yeah, this one has a little flaw in it, so this one's a second pin, so it's got a little dent in it there. So this one will be going on the summer sale that I'm going to do on my Etsy store. I've got Spirit, and um, he's the same kind of colour as the Young Spirit, so I'm like, I'm not loving it, but he still looks awesome. I've got Once Upon a Forest, which the colour of the flowers seem like they look different, like, see there? And they're, like those two colours are different colours, don't you think? So I'll check the other ones and see if they're all like this, but this one might be a seconds pin. Um, this one I'm actually really surprised by because this one was like one of my least favourite designs that I did, but I actually love it in person. Like I love the colour, I love the size of it, it's much bigger, see because it's a square so you're getting like the maximum space used. Of it like it looks bigger than the other pins but it's not it's the same size um so i really like that one um and then the road to el dorado which was quite a popular one yeah so this is all of them kind of overview i've got all the other kind of ones over here all the ones that i showed you yesterday so i think i'm just waiting for the last unicorn one because i only got one of these in the box like i don't have all the other ones so that's it, I'll give a final update when the last box comes, which I hope is tomorrow. 
Um, for now, I'm going to open up all these little packets and sort them all into my little drawers. Alright, hey Fivo, you going to say bye-bye? Bye! <laughs> okay, I've got the last box in today. Um, this one's a lot smaller than the other two. Um, I think it was three more pins I was waiting for, which was Balto, Little Foot and Ducky, and the last unicorn. That's all of them, and there's a few more random ones at the bottom, I think. The last unicorns are like one of my favourites. They're so pretty. Oh my god, guys. So I just finished putting away all of the pins, and then I got another box, and it's all the charms. I was wondering when these were going to get here. I'm so excited to see them all. We've got Jenna and Balto. We've got Itchy. Oh my god. Quite a lot of it, a lot of itchy. Um, rain, which oh, I love rain. She's like my favourite one that I've done. Little foot, spirit. Um, oh, there's one little, a little itchy one that must have fell out. So they've all got the love heart ones on them because I really like those ones so that they match. The old ones that I got. These ones are the Help I'm a Fish ones, which I think only like 10 people picked these, so I was like considering whether to even order them or not, but I thought oh, I may as well. Um, and this is more of the last unicorn ones. I'm gonna get one of these out to show you because they are eh, they are holographic. Can I do this with my horn? So they are slightly bigger than the other ones. I don't, they don't look hollow at all. Okay, okay, I've got all of the charms out now. Um, took all the little protective films and stuff off. So these are the ones that I had before. Um, I had Puka. He was a charm that I already had in my store. Um, he's got this sort of rounded edge to him, if you can see that. Um, he's also like the only one that has the regular keychain um, but not a lot of people really picked him anyway I just kind of put him in as an optional extra. The Love Heart ones I have two versions I've got this holographic version and then I've just got like the regular vibrant version and it's basically just going to be random like whatever one you get because I did order these ones and the whole point of drawing this scene was you know because it looked all holographic and I'm like oh that'll be that'll look awesome if I do hollow but then you, you can't see the artwork as well, like the artwork isn't as, you know, vibrant as on this one. These are the old Last Unicorn ones, so these are the ones that I showed as like the example. Um, these ones are only one-sided ones and they are quite smaller than the newer ones. These are the newer ones and this is the older one. I think the holographic, you can see it, it's more like kind of multicoloured on this one, but it's only one-sided and it's smaller. So I'll be giving out these ones until I run out of them and then I ordered 100 of these new ones as well. Well, you can actually see it quite well on these ones as well. And these ones are 2.5 inch. Those ones are only 2 inches. And these ones are double sided. Holographic on one side and then it's just regular on the other side. But you can still see the holographic like, through it from the other side. And then I've got all the new designs that I got. Um, I've got Help Him A Fish. Um, these are all double sided as well so I'm really glad I could start doing double sided charms because all the ones I've been doing so far have been one sided. So that's just a, there we go. So I've got Balto and Jenna. The colours are really vibrant. I really like this supplier who I've got them from. Um, I'm probably going to be going to these guys from now on. What else have I got? Rain is my favourite one. Like, Rain without a doubt. She is absolutely beautiful. Her colours are really vibrant. So, I'm pro she's probably going to go on my key ring. <laughs> probably going to go on my keys. Um, I've got Itchy, who looks... She, he, he looks like a real hot dog. He's very bright. <laughs> like, even brighter than the artwork that I've done. So, I've got him. I've got Littlefoot and his little tree star. And then we've got Spirit, who is gold. Like, his colour came out insane. Like, he is so bright. But it's not it's not bad either. Like, it's it's good. I think they just look a lot brighter than the artwork that I've done for them. Like, they've 
come out a lot more vibrant, which is good. So yeah, this is all the charms that I've done. When you get them, they'll be in individual packaging because like I used to be able to, I used to like take them out of that packaging and you know, package them in my own stuff, but that's just extra work and they're already packaged up. So I may as well just send them out like that. It keeps them safe while they're in transit. Um, and then they have coating on each side. It's kind of like a little film. It's like this and you basically just put put your nail on the edge and peel it off. So they do look kind of cloudy. Like when you first get them, you just have to peel the film off the sides. 